In this video, we're going to talk about click fraud and invalid clicks when it comes to running Google ad campaigns for your own business or for that of your client's business. And I'm going to show you how to identify invalid clicks, what Google does about them, and then what you can do about them to reduce click fraud even further. Right. So let's get started. All right, so first let's start off with what is click fraud? Click fraud is when your competitors or your client's competitors are going to be clicking on your ad, your Google text ad, right? And costing your client or your business money. And ideally, we don't want that happening, but we live in the real world where competitors will do that. Some will even go as far as setting up a automated bot to look for your website and Google ad and then click on it so that you're charged more each and every day. That's no bueno, especially when you're paying 50 or $100 plus per click, like an injury attorney or a plumber, right? You don't want this happening. So what are invalid clicks? Here's the definition by Google. It's clicks on ads that aren't results of genuine interest, including intentional fraudulent traffic and accidental or duplicate clicks. Here are some examples. Manual clicks meant to increase your advertising costs to increase profits for websites, owners posting your ads. Clicks by automated clicking tools such as robots or deceptive software. Irrelevant clicks that provide no value to the advertiser. So Google here is saying that they actually don't count these in their campaigns. But how do you identify how many invalid clicks your campaigns have, right? Well, let's talk about that. Okay, so I have a lawyer's account pulled up here and it's for the last three months. And what you can see here is we have two campaigns, but on the right hand side here in campaign view, you'll notice this column called invalid clicks. And if I hover over it, it says Google considers invalid clicks illegitimate and that you are not charged for them and they won't affect your account statistics. Google closely monitors all of this. But the thing is, click fraud does happen even with Google's safeguards to invalid clicks. So if you want to check your invalid clicks data, you have to go in campaign view. If you don't see this column, you can go to columns here and modify columns and add invalid clicks to your columns. Okay, so what are the options of fighting back against invalid clicks or reducing click fraud, eliminating click fraud as much as possible as a Google advertiser? How do we do that? Well, there's a couple solutions. I'm gonna introduce you to one free solution and then a paid solution and we can do that starting right now actually we'll go to the campaign settings of one of these campaigns so i'm going to click this cog here and if we scroll down to additional settings here and then scroll down even further there's this tab called ip exclusions it basically lets you input ip addresses from people who are, or bots that are clicking on your ads repeatedly. But how do you get this IP address data? Well, basically you have to get into your web host logs and see how many, well, you have to analyze the data from your web host server that hosts your Google ads landing page and see if there are any irregular traffic spikes from certain IP addresses. It's a very manual process, a technical process as well and then you have to manually input them here into the campaign settings. As you can see here, we do have quite the list of IP addresses for this particular campaign. So that's option one. If you go that route, get those IP addresses, input them into this text box, and then click save. Okay, so what's option two? Option two is basically to get a paid software to monitor these IP addresses for you and identify which ones are actually taking action to do click fraud, which one of these IP addresses are doing it, and then automatically add them into the IP exclusion settings of your campaign or campaigns. So 
take a look at this here. We have this example account. I filtered it to the last three months. Now I'm going to go over to my recommended solution to helping to fight against click fraud. And as you can see here, I have it sorted by the exact same dates. And in the analytics report, you can see that the software has blocked 84 IP addresses thus far. And it's identified that most of the threat levels were low, some were substantial, and some were critical at 2%. Nice graph here. But more importantly, what you can see here is that we have saved this client over $4,000 and saved 139 clicks that could have happened to their campaigns and they would have paid for that. In fact, you can input your average cost per click for the campaign and that's what I'm going to do right now actually. We'll go over back to Google Ads real quick and then on the cost per click for both campaigns. It's $35.31. Back to the software. You can see the actual cost per click has risen since the last time we started using this software, which has now been over a year ago. So let's do this here. 35, 51, I believe it was. All right. The update has successfully happened. And we've saved nearly $5,000 for this client just using this specific software. So it's a really good software. It would be very laborious to go into the web hosting server of this client's domain and trying to identify the IPs that are either bots or are actual competitors clicking on their Google ads. So this software is by far my favorite solution to identifying the problem to reducing invalid clicks or fighting against click fraud. Definitely check out the link in the description. You can get started with a free trial of the software to start fighting against click fraud for your Google Ads campaigns as well. But let me show you a few more things that this software can do. We're under the Google Ads fraud analytics now, and you can see here the reason why the software automatically blocked certain IP addresses. It'll let you know. So one of them, it says right here, this IP address bounced too fast and was using a VPN software. So sometimes there are those uh, sales teams out there that are trying to click on the ad and then, and they're using VPN software and they're calling uh, our specific client or so on and so forth. We want to eliminate that. And this is one of the ways to do that. Okay, this person bounced too fast. This one clicked over the threshold. You can set a threshold for how many clicks you allow. And you do that under the rule setting. This one was using a VPN software. And this one clicked over the threshold. And below here is the clicks report, which is a great table to look at. You can see the threat level of the IP address. This one was flagged as critical. It was blocked. It says bounced. And it, the cool thing about this software is that it will let you know what city the particular IP address came from. And it'll also let you know what keyword the click fraud bot or person uh, typed into Google to then click on your ad. Pretty cool. What I like about the city, by the way, is that if someone does click on a city outside your location, well, you can go ahead and block IP addresses manually if you have or someone do an analysis on the software. So for example, this person or bot, whatever it may be, was from New York City, but this lawyer is only targeting California. So why are we showing up from New York City? Um, this could be a bot. It could be a, I'm not sure exactly what it could be a VPN, but maybe the uh, software didn't catch it. The software of course is not perfect. Uh, no software is, but it does about 95 to 99% of the work for you and really helps out when cutting out click fraud. So what I'm going to do right now is block this one manually and that's it. It's as easy as that. Now, if you have multiple campaigns right in one account, no worries. You can just add this software's click fraud code to the account level and you'll be all set for all campaigns moving forward. So that pretty much does it for our 
tutorial on how to fight invalid clicks or click fraud with Google Ads. I'll leave the link to the software in the description below. Do be sure to check it out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you like this video and you want to see more helpful Google Ads videos just like this one, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you on the next video.